you're standing here. Don't you have more important places to be? I'm not sure which question I should answer first. How about none of them? I simply wanted to express my surprise that someone was in my way. Dr. Harim, maybe Ryder could help us with the emergency caches. Emergency caches? This is a war zone. Ked attacks are always a risk. Wounded. There's probably a cache of emergency medical supplies nearby. No substitute for real medical attention, but you'll survive long enough to reach it. Problem is the caches are empty right now. We're strained and no one's been out there to replenish supplies. There's no time to waste. I'll help with whatever you need. Supply crates are stacked by the wall over there. Directions to the caches are with them. You have a vehicle? Of course. Good. Get going. These are the emergency medical supplies the doctor mentioned. We have to get them to the caches. Sam, you saving the location data? Of course, Pathfinder. Didn't mean to sneak up on you. It's the alien. The one that helped out on Havaro. Didn't expect an alien to help. They've mostly tried to kill and enslave us. So that's amazing. You are amazing. Shut up, Beniska. You're embarrassing. You shut up. I'm being charming, right? The Angara have been wonderful to us, including yourself. So thank you. See? We're building bonds here to seek. So what's out there? Any tips? As a start, you could join our fight in Hajara, where those red lights are. I hear someone's looking for help. Or you could just go there and kill some cat. They're everywhere. Anything else you need to know? We've been stationed here forever, so we're experts. Those red lights? You said that's Hajara? Yes. Hajara Station. One of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help, if you haven't checked it out already. Is it difficult to live out here? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that too. The cat wants to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the cat command center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls cat operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there, meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. Even the cats seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. I'll let you get back to your work. Take care. Stay safe. Tempest, we're gonna need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Activating automated forward station deployment. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Okay, Sam, what's Vold got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Cat installations. What about the Angara? The Resistance? What's their status? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> 
Pathfinder, Vault's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it. Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. Can you even see through this snow? Trust me. Town Hill's always more fun. Temperature's back to normal. of respect for the Angara. The way they fight, <laughs> it's almost Krogan. They're a tough bunch. I hope the Angara know we're nothing like the Ket. I wouldn't want them as an enemy. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Supplies. Why? Pathfinder, I have informed Onisk. The drop point is secure. Good. The Resistance should get their supplies now. I wonder if the cat found anything good. Let's check it out. Undocumented mineral nearby, Pathfinder. Camber head contains Ket life forms, Pathfinder.
how'd you meet Cash? A few years. Picking up a faint signal. Looks like a friendly ship. It matches the transponder code for Asari survey vessel, Harry Fona. That's the ship you're looking for. We might be close. Cat machinery, watch out. Remnant site. Could have a few lurkers. triggers are required. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Looks like an Angaran settlement. Let's see if someone here needs help. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Just a mess of metal and plastic. And yet we trust our lives with it. Oh, I need to take a break before I kill someone. If you want, feel free to poke around. Stars! What's that interference? High powered communications array. Most likely for planet wide communications. Makes sense. Anything on that interference the researcher talked about? I am detecting a signal. It is faint, but this equipment is sensitive. Pathfinder, I also observe a regular pattern in this emitted signal. It may be artificial. Cat, the signal has no identifiers. It is possible the cat are disrupting or listening no. in on Angara I'm communications. Saying we need to think about this. Get in touch with Buxton and for You're that alien people have been talking about. Some say we can't trust you. But if you're here to fight Cat, that's good enough for me. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Can't kill people. They take our families and we never see them again. Anyone who fights against that has to be better than them. So, will you fight them? I know the location of the labor camp where they took my uncle. What's a cat labor camp for? Different things. They put people in cages there. Sometimes they make them work. Sometimes they collect Angara and once they have enough, they move them. And sometimes they just kill them. My father died that way. Damn, kid. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Make sure I don't lose more family. I'll get your uncle. Here's the nav point of the labor camp. Please hurry. Nilge may not have much time. I hope Nilge is still alive. What else do you know about the labor camp? Not much. There isn't much reconnaissance on it. If it's like the other camps I've heard about, then the Ket probably keep the Angara penned. Security is probably really tight, lots of guards. Why did the Ket capture your uncle? I'm not sure. He and his crew were on a resistance mission, and I guess things just went wrong. Anya covered the base, won't tell me anything else. I never thought Nilge would be captured. He's the most experienced fighter I know. I'm going to go now.
They told me you might be coming through. Watch your step. We buried data probes in the snow. What is this place? Ijara Station. The only research base on Vold. Educated on Aya, trained by the Resistance. What's your focus out here? Glacial movement, seismology, climate. Anything Aya needs from us. Resources are tight, so our scientists know a bit of everything. That way, we're prepared for anything. Are you in charge here? Lead researcher. Worked as a seismologist on Aya before I volunteered for Hijara. You volunteered? We all did. Aya is fine, but all that green gets boring. I can't speak for the rest, but I came here for the adventure. So far, Vault has lived up to my expectations. Always a new mountain to scale. How long has this station been around? Only a few years. This used to be Ket territory before the Resistance pushed them out. We've discovered a wealth of resources the Ket protected out here. Metals, minerals, even a new species of edible cold-weather fungus. All that was hidden under the ice? And more. We've only scratched the surface. I'll come back if I need anything. I'll be here. Well, I haven't seen many of your kind around here, but I've heard lots about the Pathfinder from my friends on Aya. All good things, I hope. So far. Do you get much business out here? I do all right. The trick is to not stay in one place too long. I travel between here and Techix. Sometimes they even make it up to the Resistance camp. Isn't that dangerous with the Ket all around? I've had a few close calls, but they haven't caught me yet. The stars are on my side. I'll take a look at your stock. Got plenty of supplies. It's an honor to meet you. The what can I do for you? In the top layer is you were saying broken. something about it ice talkers? Four different radioactive huh. isotopes. Don't let anyone hear you. Stupid story that started years ago when Dinor and I were students in Australia. Talk to Dinor. He knows more about how that tale spread. What are you doing with this giant block of ice? That was cut out from below Hijara. We're right above an inland sea and the ice goes deep. Very deep. Everything under the first layer was perfectly preserved from a time before the Scourge. There's a lot we can learn from the composition of the deeper layers. Microbes, ancient life forms, 
all untouched by the scourge. I won't disturb your work. Only the cat showed us the same courtesy. The numbers check out. I, I don't know what else I can do to strengthen my argument. I... Oh, hello. You're that rider alien everyone's talking about. What can I do for you? You said something about ice talkers? What are those? Oh, that's something of a joke between me, John Lith, and everyone who went to school with us in Australia. One of our classmates was at an old archaeological dig and thought he heard a voice through the ice. Two months later, another group claimed they heard the same thing, an angry voice. What was it? Too much male. That's what John Lith says. Now it's become something of a joke between us. shoulder to lean on, I can, you know, ask around. Got a box of spare somewhere? You know it. called Golden World that won't be complete death to live on. Cat signals detected ahead, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, this remnant site may have defense systems. labor camp Skion talked about. Be careful. Looks heavily guarded. I'm 
I'm reading a temperature decrease. was trying to get you rescued. Good boy. He's got potential, Nilt. As I've said before, the resistance needs to be debriefed. We'll head back to base as soon as possible. What about the data drive? We have to deliver it to Buxel so she can start the analysis. Interesting. It seems we have to depend on our rescuer for more than a rescue. Can you deliver this drive to Tejix? If we work together, no time will be wasted. What's in the drive? A ket code we stole while trying to infiltrate their command center. The ket never realized how much we downloaded off their network. I'll go there as soon as I can. Perfect. 
Luck soon will be in her workshop. I hope we meet again, under better circumstances. Remember that last push before the Arcs left? All that activity for a guess about a galaxy. I got hit by a power loader. <laughs> Driver was on three calls about where to store rations. Punched it right in the gyros. We are nearing the nav point provided by Sokar Isof on Aya. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Looks like Soka's supplier is dead. Found them. Scans reveal these crates contain Angaran weapons. Oh, really now? Ha, sneaky bastard. That merchant is resistance. And here's the ambush. I envy your forehead plates. Well, that's specific. Headbutts are like shorthand for Krogan. Focused spot like that, you'd make a point pretty damn quick. Ice or mineral deposits may be reflecting false positives. The real signal must be relatively close. Heads up looks like a Keck construct. Getting closer. This is the source of that interference? Looks like a meteorite. The interference is caused by the EM radiation it's emitting. I detect that. Detect later, Adi.
What do you miss most about the Milky Way, Vetra? Understanding how shit works. Back home, I knew the politics, the people, the places. Here, everything's new. You can't play the system when you don't know what it is. I don't know about that. The way the Nexus treated us, Krogan, seems like the system came with us. The signal emitted by that meteorite might be drawing the Ardi, as well as driving them into a frenzy. How do we shut it off? Perhaps the scan will tell us more, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, I can modify your Omni tool to dampen the signal. Those Adhi really have it out for us! We are close to the source of the signal. Perhaps something about the frequency causes agitation in the beasts. I think we're safe for now. Sam, what exactly was going on here? The energies from this meteorite share similarities with the Scourge. It may have passed through it at some point. I suggest we return it to the Nexus for analysis. We could learn more about the Scourge. True. Disrupting comms, driving wildlife into a frenzy. There's too much here to ignore. We need to study it. Hopefully the Hajara scientists won't have any more trouble with their comms.